CBS 2 News reporter Brittany Borgi spoke with farmers and veterinary experts. She's here now to explain how the plan could affect what you eat. Brittany? Scott and Tiffany, the FDA wants pharmaceutical companies to stop marketing antibiotics to farmers for growth promotion and feed efficiency. The hope is if those drugs are only used when animals are really sick, it will cut down on the spread of drug-resistant superbugs in people and make us all healthier. Francis Tiki pulls up in his electric four-wheeler and we rattle out along a dirt path to the field where his organic dairy cows graze on hay, grass, and today, reporter gloves. By definition, his organic cows can't be fed antibiotics at all, so he keeps them healthy in a different way. We have 60 small pastures on our farm, and after each milking twice a day, the cows go to the next pasture, and then the next one, they keep moving around. Tiki says that's the opposite of how most livestock live, and why 70 to 80 percent of all the antibiotics in America are fed to those animals. Most of them in, in conditions that are, are not healthy. He thinks the FDA's plan is a good place to start, but that the voluntary aspect is too big of a loophole. A large enough loophole to drive a feed truck through. You know, right now I've talked to farmers all across the country and they're scared. The FDA has made it clear that they want some changes and the farmers are, are going to make it happen. Scott Hurd is the former deputy undersecretary of agriculture for food safety and says it's not realistic to think that industrial farms will all one day look like this one. He says confining animals is what makes U.S. ag so efficient. But, he says, this is one way to make it safer, too. Antibiotics in livestock production are an important tool. They're not a crutch. Now, part of the FDA's plan also makes many current over-the-counter drugs only available through a veterinary prescription. Many industrial farms also have those kind of vets on staff. Reporting in the studio, Brittany Borgie, CBS 2 News.